All right, all right. It's Bible study time once again, Wednesday. Yes, this is about the, what, 21st day, I believe it is, of October. Yes, 21st day of October. Uh, in the fall, we're in the fall. The weather's still a little warm, though. It's not really fall weather. No, we haven't getting that breeze like we usually get, or what we hope to get at least. But hopefully the breeze is coming. But anyway, this is the hump day. Yes, the hump day, hump day, hump day. And the wind of the 21st day of October. And we now endeavor, Cobb, Bethel, and friends, welcome to, we now endeavor to study a little bit more, a few more verses of God's word coming from Philippians, the third chapter. Philippians, the third chapter. And we stopped off. We're going to pick up at the 12th verse and discuss the other rest of the verses of the chapter. Philippians, Chapter 3, and we're going to pick up at the 12th verse where we left off last time. Amen. Glad to see you, Cobb, Bethel, and friends. Amen. Praise the Lord. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, you know I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, you know I'm going to let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Well, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. You know, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Well, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, well, now I'm going to let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, you know, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Well, everywhere I go, you know I'm going to let it shine. Well, everywhere I go, yeah, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Well, Jesus gave it to me, yeah, I'm going to let it shine. Well, Jesus gave it to me, and uh, I'm going to let it shine. Well, Jesus gave it to me, you know I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let it shine. Let it shine. Everywhere I go, Jesus gave it to me. I'm surely going to let my light shine. Amen. Shine, shine, shine. I'm going to let it shine. Shine, shine, shine. Yes, I'm going to let it shine. Amen. I find that God we come up for the throne of grace. Thank you, Heavenly Father, once again. For your grace, your mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your faithfulness towards us. Thank you, O oh God, for this moment that we are now enjoying in your history. Thank you, O oh God, for your son, Jesus Christ, who made all of this possible, who made the word possible, who made salvation possible, who made a right to the tree of life for us possible. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, O oh God. If we have the faith in him, that we have the hope of salvation. Thank you, O oh God, for things being as well with us as they are. Thank you for your holy word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that resides in us that leads and guides us. We pray, O oh God, that I would manifest yourself continually through your word to us that we will be able and better equipped to go into the hedges, the highways, and the byways, and unto everyone we come in contact with, proclaiming the good news of the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, without further ado, let's talk a little bit more uh -huh, about uh, what I was saying last time on last week ought to be our mission. It ought to be our goal in life uh -huh, to be nearer to God, to draw as nearer to Christ and in his example, in his resurrection, be able to dwell uh, in his presence, in his resurrection, in fellowship with him and know him. Those are some of the things that we brought out last time. Uh, uh, Paul said in the eighth verse, doubtless I count all things but lost for the ex excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He counts all things lost and he had a lot to lose. We ought to count things lost as well. No matter what we lose, don't worry about what you lose. For the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, Oh, my goodness. We don't care what we. Oh, no, no. We don't care about the suffering or the loss of anything. And then in the, ninth, in the ninth verse, to be found in him. Isn't that something? Wow. Not of your own righteousness, which comes from the law. This is what Paul was pretty much before when he was in, in the Sanhedrin court and whatever he was. He was, a, he was a good official, good Jew. He was a Jew of the Jews. Uh huh. Yes. But he says to be found in him. My goodness. Ooh. And through faith in Christ, through faith in Christ, to be able to uh, be in the righteousness, which is of God by faith, mm. that you can know him. In the 10th verse, that I may know him. If by any means, in the 11th verse, I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Lord, help us. Mm -hmm. It's all about getting to know him, getting to be uh, uh, intimate with Christ. That's what this is all about. Getting to know him and being intimate with Christ, being one with Christ. In this third, uh, uh, now the 12th verse, let's, let's, let's continue. We're going to pick up at the 12th verse. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after that I may apprehend that for which also, I am apprehended of Christ. What a verse. Now, as though, not as though I had already attained. He had, you didn't already have it. We didn't already have it either. He hadn't already had it. Not before the resurrection. Not before uh, he was doing all kinds. We didn't have it either. Okay, not before Christ. He didn't attain it. Either were already perfect. You didn't have that relationship with Christ already. And he's saying now, I got to get that perfect, uh, that's why I'm working so strong, that perfect, yes, relationship with Christ. I want it to be, it's just the best it can possibly be. But I follow after it, that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended. Apprehend that for which I am apprehended. So Christ apprehended us, we want to be able to apprehend what it is for him to apprehend us. <laughs> my, my, my. He understood us and know what we needed. For we are apprehended of Christ. And hallelujah, we want to have the knowledge and be able to apprehend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take hold to, take possession of uh huh. What Christ had taken possession of us in the beginning, take possession of the whole thing, that whole relationship. Oh my goodness! What a what a what a what a what a verse! What a verse! That 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 twelve verse. Not that I have already attained it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 perfect union of being Christ-like. Yeah, or have already been made perfect. Yeah, but I actively press on. I'm going to take hold, yes, take hold to that perfection, uh-huh, that perfection which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. That perfection, he perfected, you understand, perfected his relationship with us. He perfected it. I want to take hold to that perfected relationship. Also, that relationship with Christ. I want it to be perfected. And that's 
what I'm going to always be on my P's and Q's about is having a perfect relationship, my, 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 with Christ. I want it to be a perfect relationship, nothing missing, with Christ. And that's what I'm going to attain. Mm, mm, mm. Now, how am I going to attain it? Brothers and sisters, 13th verse, let me tell you how you attain it. Hmm. He says, I don't count myself to have apprehended. So I, I hadn't I hadn't already apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward into those things which are before. Hmm. Hmm. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. My, my, my. Mm. Praise the Lord. That's that's familiar with us. We know that 13th and 14th verse. It's so familiar. And people uh, 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 might recite it or whatever. Or preach from, but do we really know what it means? You know, uh, uh, a lot of times we like to say things and we have uh, scriptures that, that we hear people say all the time. But do we know what it means? Do you know what it means? Could you explain to me about or what does it mean to you? Mm -hmm. In Hebrews, the 13th chapter and the first two verses, it says, let brotherly love continue. Be not for, be not, rather, or rather the 12th verse, the 12th verse. I gave you the wrong verse. Hebrews, the 12th verse and the first uh, 12th chapter in the first two verses. Hebrews, the 12th chapter. In the first two verses kind of helps us with this. All right. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him entered the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So we lay aside all the weight, the sin, and all of that. That's what he's saying here. Lay aside all of that. Run the race with patience. So we're like in a race. We're running it with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So in this 14th and 15th verse, I press toward the mark, the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. See, I press toward the mark. So in other words, I'm going to run the race with patience. You know what I'm saying? Waiting on, on Christ every step of the way. I'm going to be patient in Christ on Christ, waiting on Christ every step of the way. I'm going to run with patience and I'm going to put down uh, sin and things that get me distracted, sin and things that so easily beset me. I'm going to run the race. See? I, I haven't already attained that, right? but I'm going to run the race to attain it. I'm going to run the race to attain it. So sin mm, and all this other stuff can't be there. We got to get that out of there. You know, don't, we can't be going around sinning and thinking of doing things wrong and evil and all kind of other stuff that get in our way. We got to put that stuff down. Put it down. Hallelujah. Forgetting those things which are behind. Get rid of it. And reaching forth unto those things which are before me. Yes. Let us therefore as many as can be perfect and thus minded and... Uh, if in anything ye be otherwise, man, that God shall reveal even this unto you. But let me say something first. That was the 15th verse. But let me say something first about the 13th and 14th that I was saying already. Not already apprehended. We, we, are, we weren't already there. But one thing that we do know, we're going to forget about the past. Reach forth unto things which are before. Press forward to the mark. Press forward towards the mark. That means we're going to always be going higher and higher. We're going to reach a goal. That is, we're going to reach that perfect relationship with Christ. That's what we're going to do. We want all that we can be. 
We want to be all that we can be. Perfect. That's what we want to be. We want to be all that we can be. Mature as we can get. Far as we can go. Press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. That prize of the high calling. When I run the race <laughs> set before, before us, that's pressing. That's what we will be doing. Pressing toward that mark for the prize of the high calling. So that high calling, that prize that we're going to be is just complete, complete, hallelujah, form, complete relation with Jesus Christ and, 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 and thereby attaining everlasting life, working out our soul salvation, all that kind of stuff goes in here. When Paul said, work out your soul salvation, you don't say I'm saved. Yes, I'm saved and God is in. And then sit down. What is that? Mm, are you really, are really, I mean, uh, uh, you got to, you got to, you got to keep moving. You got to get stronger and stronger in the Lord. You can't stop there. You've got to get stronger and stronger in the Lord because when you realize, yes, and give up that life for Christ, and that's your decision that you've made, then there are going to be many things come up uh, 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 to you and be, that you want to be able to handle and you won't be able to handle them if you sit down. You got to go stronger and stronger in God's word. You want to apprehend. Mm, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth under those things uh, which are before, which are before I press toward the mark for the pride of the high calling. High calling. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The high calling. Praise the Lord. The high calling. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Think like this. If that's what you want, that perfection, think like this. Be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. The wisdom and knowledge that God will impart upon you will let you know where you stand and where you need to go. Wisdom and knowledge. Yes, yes. We will be afforded you so that it will be revealed unto you if you're thinking anything different. Let us, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Minded like this. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. I have not apprehended what I really want. I want to really want to apprehend all the way. I want to go all the way 100% with Christ. I want to realize high calling. Far as I want to realize the high, the press toward the mark of the prize, the high call. And that prize, hallelujah, is just, I mean, it's just, my, we can't even imagine. That prize is high. The prize of the high call. That's what the prize is. The high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I want to go as far as I can go and attain everlasting life. That's what I'm going to have. Ultimately, is everlasting life. Therefore, let us be minded of this kind. This is what we need to do. This is our goal. And if you're thinking anything else at any time, God's wisdom, God will remind you, will reveal it unto you and keep you on the straight and narrow. Will reveal it to you. Nevertheless, verse 16, whereunto we have already attained. Let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. 16th verse. Nevertheless, whereunto or whereto we have already attained. My, my, my. We have already attained. Lord have mercy. That's the 16th verse. Uh, all of us 
who, 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 or who are mature Christians. You see what I'm saying? And we want the spiritual perfection. We ain't talking about we never lock our keys up in the car or we don't turn left and made a mistake. We're not talking about that. We're talking about spiritual perfection here. And the Bible tells us we need to be perfect. Spiritual perfection in Christ Jesus is what we are. We want to be in Christ Jesus. We want to reach that high calling. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh my God. Stay true to what we've already attained. Hey, brother, we, 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 we haven't quite reached all the way up there where we want. So we, we, he, Paul is saying there's further to go. There's further we can go in Christ. Oh, my God. You can go further in Christ till you die. You, there's farther you can go. Hmm. But what we have already attained so far, hold to that. Bye, hold to it. Where to we have already attained, let us walk by the same route. What we have already attained. My, my, my. Stay true to that. Hmm. Let us mind the same thing. Stay true to what we already attained. Stay true to it. See what I'm saying? And then we go higher and higher. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. God will make it clear to us. Whatever it is we think, God will give us the wisdom to understand what we should think. Yes, he will. We'll press toward them all for the prize of the high. Yes, we will. Hmm. The goal that is we press to, 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 to win. We want to win the goal. Mm. Heavenly. Heavenly. The prize is heavenly. Upward. We're going upward. The call of God in Christ Jesus. We ain't going to be the same next month as we was this month. Two years from now, we're going to be even better than we were now. We're pressing toward that heavenly Heavenly call, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. In Christ Jesus, Lord help us. We gonna be just, 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 just better, better, just better. Now you, 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 you think you couldn't get us before? You sure ain't finna get us now. The older you get, the more you read God's word and commune with Him. If you ain't better, something's wrong. You ain't commune. You, you, I don't know what you're doing. Pressure toward the mark that I will attain. Yes, that perfect. Action in Christ. My, my, my. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same route. What we've already got in him, walk, let's go by and continue. Yes, we will move up. 17th verse, brethren, brothers and sisters, whatever you want to say, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example and sample, and sample, a pattern. In the King James Version says, and sample. That's an example or pattern, however you is. And, and Paul says, um, to walk. Be followers together with me. Walk, walk, walk with me. Uh, you, you can do what you see me doing because I'm in Christ. Wouldn't it be wonderful if people can walk as you walk because they see Christ in you? And you're teaching and preaching the right thing, and they can see Christ in you. And if they walk as you walk, they'll be walking right. Isn't that something? That would be something. Mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. My, my, my. Brothers and sisters, yes. Follow my example. <laughs> Observe those who live by the pattern we gave you. And you can see it. You can tell. You look around and you'll see people. They may be shouting one day, but observe the pattern. Observe their lifestyle. Observe what they do. Never mind they were shouting. But somebody might shout and then they'll turn around and cut you. Shout, praying, all of this, then turn around and, and, and scandalize your name. Shouting, crying in church. Man, you think they you think they 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 say sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. You think they're on the right track. You think they so holy. They'll turn around and cut you, misuse you, abuse you. Yes, they will. Oh, yeah, yeah. As soon as that's over, 
They revert back to what they really are. Don't be confused by that. Paul says, observe those who live by the pattern we gave you. Yes, yeah, the pattern we gave you, which walk so as ye have us for an example. The example we gave, observe folk, observe folk that really follow Christ. You, you, you see how they, you, you see it in their, in their action and they talk. Because Paul says in the 18th verse, there are many mm, who he's already told us about. Let me read it. In the 18th verse, for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross Ooh, of Christ. Lord have mercy. Mm. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Now in that 18th and 19th verse, he says, First of all, in the 17th verse, you know, follow follow the example we didn't gave you. Observe folk who follow that example. If you want to be around somebody that's that's that you want to follow Christ, be around folk that follow Christ. Be around folk that 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 speak, talk right, walk right, act right, treat women right, treat their children right, treat the church right, treat church. Be around folk like that. Observe their pattern. Pattern yourselves after examples of, uh, especially uh, 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 seniors who are older than you, people who act like they're supposed to act. Yes, follow those. Because Paul says, it gives you, for many, and I've told you before, and I'm telling you now, even weeping, that's just how serious he is, even cause him to cry. I'm weeping telling you. Paul is serious here. I'm even weeping as I tell you because I'm, 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 I'm sincere. They are enemies of the cross. They act one way and then another way. You might see them shouting like I said in church and talking all this here and reading the script and they do all this and you think they, yeah, but really observe people now. Make sure that you're following the right folk from the preacher on down. Observe those who are following the right example of Christ. Paul was a good example, and if you follow that example, then you're following the right example, going on the right road. That's what you need to be doing, my friends. And the end of these people who are not, who are going the wrong way, the end in the 19th verse, their end is destruction. Their God is their belly. Whose glory? Now let me let, let's let's look at that 19th verse. Whose end is destruction? Now that's pretty that's pretty self-explanatory. But let's talk about whose God is their belly. Huh. Hmm. Whose God is their belly? Hmm. Now. First thing for somebody to say, oh, they just eat a lot. No, you, when you read the Bible, I'm telling you, when you read the Bible, you've got to concentrate. You should have prayed before you read it. And then you've got to wrestle with the scriptures. Uh, 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 you've got to take apart those scriptures, read them slowly, and think spiritually on the thing. Belly don't mean physical. Your belly has an appetite. You have an appetite for your belly, right? But he's not talking about spiritual, eating a lot. He's talking about your, your appetite for worldly things. Huh. What you want from this world. That's what he means when he says, that's your God, your belly. Uh huh. So he's just likening belly and you want to fill that belly up. I know I do want to fill that belly all the time with food. You want to fill yourself. You're the belly and you want to fill yourself with desires and passions of this world. That's what you want to fill yourself with. That's what you want to, your appetite, instead of spiritual things, instead of Christ, instead of God, that God, the spiritual God, you, 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 you want the things of this world. That's what he means. You have a worldly appetite. Your sensuality and vanity and all this kind of thing. That's what the Amplified Version said. That's a good way of putting it. My, my, my. Glory is in their shame. Mm, mm, mm. That's because their mind is on earthly things, things that are temporary. And it's really shameful. It's really shameful. But their glory is in that. My, my, my. 
is in their shame. They focusing on earthly things, temporal things, what, what, what you can gain here. They don't have the spiritual mind. So really, uh, when you think about it, uh, 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 Paul is calling it shame. You're really glorying in shame. <laughs> You're really glorying in shame. Glorying in your shame. It's a shame, and that's where you're, and you're glorying in it. That you want all of this other stuff, it's a shame. The glory is your shame. And, and, and whose mind is on earthly things. My, my, my. And that's a lot of the stuff going on. Rather than pressing toward the mark, rather than seeking to be apprehended, to apprehend more and more and more, as Paul says, because I have not apprehended, I want more and more and more. You stop off. I want this, I want that, I want the other. We need to press toward the mark. Hmm. Always seeking to perfect that relationship with God in Christ Jesus. I want to be more and more, closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Oh yes, oh yes, that's what that's what we want. In the 20th verse, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to leave you alone. For our conversation uh, is in heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our conversation is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, have mercy. In the 20th verse, mm, we're different. And it's like having, being a member, being, having a uh, 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 claim to a place in heaven. That's our conversation. It's heavenly. We claim a place in heaven. Some people say it's like citizenship in heaven. You can use that word. Yeah, in heaven. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that 21st, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. The last two verses. So, we're different. We're not of this world. Okay, uh-huh. We've already in a sense, claimed citizenship in heaven. We've already claimed a place in heaven. That is, if we're doing what we should be doing. Our conversation is heavenly. It's like in heaven. It's in heaven. That's what our existence and our being is really spiritually. We're thinking in he heavenly things. You understand? Uh huh. Not earthly. Heavenly. We're different. <laughs> oh my my my. We already think like we're in heaven. We talk like we're in heaven. We act like we're already there. We, go, we, we know that's what God's going to have. We know that's what we're going to wind up. Hallelujah. We know it. If, we, if, we, if, we, if, 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 if we're seeking, pressing toward them, that's what we're going to be. <laughs> Jesus is able to, to subdue and subject everything unto himself. And he's going to transform us. We eagerly wait the coming of the Savior. The Lord Jesus Christ. We await his coming. You do know he's coming. We await his coming. And when he comes, we will be like him. We will have attained, hallelujah, and we'll be like him. His power enables him to subject everything to himself. And he will transform, and not only transform, uh huh, and just just refashion our bodies or, or whatnot, our earthly bodies, so that we will be like his glorious resurrected body. 
And yes, that does. Man, you don't know what you're going to look. Oh, my, my. I know we say we're going to see mom and daddy in heaven and all this kind of thing. But, but you ain't going to recognize folk in heaven. You probably ain't going to even. I don't know what we're going to. You know, what we're going to look like. You, it's, it's, God give us a Bible. He says it right here. That's what it says. Fashion like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. So uh, what are we going to look like? The resurrected body of Jesus Christ. We may all look alike. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. We may all look alike. Fashioned in him, in his resurrected body. Fashion like unto his glorious body. That's what it says. Hmm. So don't worry about whether or not it is that we see mama, dad, and you know, you know, I know, I know, like I said, I don't, I don't want nobody to get mad at me. I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. We get to heaven. Hallelujah. Don't know about telling who's, but I do know one thing. It's going to be a body fashioned unto. Yes, yes, his glorious body. That's what it says. My, my, all right. But we, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need. We need to have a goal. We need to have a mission. We need to have something we want to attain that is the perfect relationship with Christ more and more, just better and better and better with him. And we need to press toward that mark. That's what we need to be doing. Forgetting about what we've had. Forgetting about the sin. Put down the sin. For us, we can't do it with sin. You can't be running around here sinning. I ain't no sinning. We ain't doing all that sinning. Huh? We're going to talk right, walk right, go where we're supposed to go, do what we're supposed to do. We ain't going to be no sinning. We don't, we, don't, we don't do that. We used to do that. We don't do that anymore. Put down all that. And things are so easily to set up and this and worry about that. We ain't another and we ain't the sin. Hallelujah. Oh, we've overcome. We go, oh my, my. We overcoming all that stuff. We're overcomers. Mm -hmm. We have the mind of Christ. Well, all right, my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters. I'll stop off there at that third chapter of Philippians. My, 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 praise the Lord. <laughs> my, my, and I pray that, that all you're getting, you will get understanding. There's more can be said, but I just want to say that much in this uh, time that I have. There's more that we can say. You can even break down some more. There's more can be said, but uh, 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 why am I going to say it all at once? But I think that's enough, at least for us you know, to take hold to. Amen. Take hold to, take hold to, take hold to. I finally God, we pray, oh God, that I would manifest yourself, continue the word to us. Bless those who have heard. We pray, oh God, that we would be better empowered. And we know, oh God, that by the wisdom that you'll give us, we'll have the understanding that we need and be better empowered to go out, oh Heavenly Father, proclaiming your word to a dying world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Until next Wednesday. Praise the Lord. Press toward the mark, the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. The high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. We go up, 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 up. Heavenly thing. And also, eventually, you know, you're going to have eternal life. That's going to be the end. We're going to be with him. God bless you. Until next time.